Screenwrite.in Learn, Write, and Create. Stories are generally built. Stories don't just happen that way. Perhaps you may have uh, some kind of a, uh, an impetus to get into a story by some kind of an incident which would have provoked you or, 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 or which would have affected you. Well, that could be an incident, a provoking incident. But for the story to happen, you need a lot of work. This is something that we all should accept, first of all. And this acceptance happens through my own experience. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So we aren't hanging around waiting for inspiration. We are are having to draw a story out of ourselves and form it and mold it and build it into something worth presenting to an audience. So this again is something very special. A lot of youngsters tend to believe that, well, I have this idea and I am going to make it and this is my story and this is my character. Yes, of course, it is your story, it's your character. But at the same time, you are making this not for you. You are working this for an audience who you don't know. This is the core factor we all should understand. When you work something for you, well, you have the limited uh, uh, confines of your room and you can watch it or you can read it alone. But when it comes to a story that we are discussing here, we are writing this story and then converting this into a screenplay for millions of audiences who you don't know. This is where the hard work has to come in. It has to be spotless. It has to be engaging to the millions you don't know. So this is where we need planning. We need some kind of a, uh, I would say it's like building a house. Before you build a house, what happens? You You have a space which is vacant. And you are going to build this house where Probably in the future, hundreds of thousands of people will come into that house and try to experience the space that you have built. And that will be there all the time. And that needs a lot of planning. That needs a lot of work. That needs a lot of dirt and sweat and probably taking a shovel and dig so many things and place your mortar at the right place and make the right bricks to build your house. This is what the planning is all about. This is, this is not easy. So this is what we are going to discuss one by one as foundations. So I'm not making you or terrorize you by saying that this is a hell of a lot of work. But it has work. And we all tend to believe that when you say a story, when you invent or discover a story or, 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 or an experience and convert this into a story, probably this is, a, this is an easy, get-rich-quick kind of a scheme that you are developing. But it's not that. There is no easy way here. But at the same time, it has to have an engagement factor for millions of people. And we are ready to dig the foundation upon which to build a story. And that digging is remarkably like work. Sometimes when you are engaged in that work, when you passionately engage in the house building work, you love, you find it as some kind of a fun, exciting work, sometimes frustrating. Sometimes it is a, it's, it's a kind of an aggravating work. Shaping and carving out of human experience and captivating an audience and get them to your motion of thought. Or you're playing God in a universe of your own creation. This is what this work is. And you then at that point, you'll never notice the sweat and the dirt and the pain by carrying this, 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 this shovel and how your hands get hurt, you won't find any of these. The smell of cement, you won't find any of these. 
you start loving it at the same time we are placing and securing the foundation you will be gathering all the other material which you would want to build your structure so the story has to have some foundations and that foundation will help you build a structure on it which is the screenplay this is exactly what we are going to discuss there is also a school of thought by saying that there is not much of you know effort in story because it comes from life experience yes it comes from life experience of course we are we are taking our own experiencing experiences and then carve it into some kind of an emotional bundle to attract and captivate people who you don't know this is the process so let us come up with how to make it from a barren ground ground zero one thing i want to just share as an experience is you know it's uh, generally what uh, novice writers do is they start writing i also have told in my basic classes classrooms i say that uh, well when you write come to come to a writers class you need to write of course you need to write but if you don't know what to write how will you write you can't write i always have seen people saying that well i have a writers block here and uh, i start up with something i just uh, have opened my notebook or uh, or the air four sheet i'm uh, i take a pen and i don't know nothing comes how can anything come if you don't know what to write this is what we need to know if you start doing it i can assure you at some point of time you hit the wall and stop and there is an absolute name for it which is called the 70th page syndrome after 70 pages you stop and you don't know how to go further from there till then you had the vigor you had the impetus you had the interest and then you are in some kind of a worry and you don't know how to go in which direction to go how to go about it how to end this story how to make this character turn into something else this is what really happens so i just want to start writing i'll find my story as i go is not a very successful and probably a very easy enterprise and it it seems logical that sooner you start churning out script pages the sooner you'll reach the end that's what you think but the truth is as i told you earlier the page 70 syndrome you start writing and figuring out where you are going as you go as you are flying with the pages it might be easy to establish the characters and the world of the story to add more complications to the life of characters and to feel as if you are in motion then somewhere close to this 70 80 pages or 60 to 70, 60 to 80 pages you'll come to a dead stop all you can see are the problems with the complications you have created and you won't see any solutions or viability or a direction to go and your characters will be off doing things that don't make any sense in your story or characters will have taken over and blown their roles out of proportion and 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 you no longer have any idea at all what story you are trying to tell this is what really happens i have gone through it myself i don't say that well this is this is bad or wrong but i think it is not practical this is where you have hit the wall and the only solution is to go back and regroup and rethink what you are doing but rethinking is harder than thinking to get out from what you have invented and discovered and contributed to the story it's very hard to come out of it you fall in love with so many things there which is wrong which is not enough so rethinking is hard thinking and you have already invested considerable time and energy in the story 
as it exists so far and it's more difficult to throw out an entire direction the story took so rethinking starts turning into a salvaging effort where you continue to try to find solutions based on the story you developed as you wrote incessantly spontaneously you might even restart and get another 10 pages into the script before uh, you call it a patchwork of slightly new salvage story starts to uh, uh, emerge around raven but this time you will likely have grown tired of or even come to hate or dislike your story i put it back into a corner and probably try to think of something new and you are tired this is what the what we go through when we don't have a plan or when we don't have the foundation to go about a story screenwrite.in learn write and create